Creating a map is a great way to help your child become more familiar with their environment. You can help your child make maps of more advanced concepts, such as that of your neighborhood block or of an intersection. As you make these maps together, it's important not to overload them with too many details or tactile markers, as this can be confusing to your child. The residential block. Before going on a block with your child around the neighborhood, it may be helpful to build a simple map of one residential block. You can discuss with your child common features found in a residential block. The sidewalks, corners, houses, etc. You can add common landmarks such as mailboxes, utility boxes, or light poles to the map as you explore the block with your child. Using the map, have your child practice simple compass directions, north, south, east, and west, or more advanced comp compass directions such as the northwest corner of the block, the southeast corner of the block. For plus intersections, another helpful map that can be made. On the map, you can include four residential blocks surrounding the intersection the two roads crossing to create a plus shape. It's important to point out to your child that there are white lines painted in the middle of the road and that the cars drive on the right side of this road. These are facts that your child may not have observed before and will be helpful for them in understanding the flow of traffic. Mapping is a fun and interactive activity, so allow your child to explore by driving cars on the roads or adding stop signs. Again, using these maps is a great way to review compass directions. You can point out to your child that the northwest corner of the intersection is also the same as the southeast corner of the block. This is a tricky concept, so don't worry if it takes lots of practice. Have fun exploring the world with your child.